right, suppose you want to uh, track your paint node. Uh, does, you, you need to have a little bit of a workaround because with the paint node, you don't doesn't. Well, let me show. The paint node doesn't have any translation uh, settings, you know, to apply the tracking data to. So suppose you wanted to track your paint strokes. Well, I have a little bit of a workaround, but it uh, works for me. Um, I have a clip that, let's say I wanted to key out the background here. And for demonstration purposes, let's just say this is the best key that I'm going to achieve. And if you look at the alpha channel, you notice that we have like these holes in here that we want to fill in. So, yeah, I could just get a Bezier and put it in, and the Bezier can be easily tracked. Um, but there are going to be times when you need to use a paint uh, node. You know, suppose you just wanted to paint in all these little spots in here for some reason, or you know, whatever. So whenever it comes time to that you need the paint node, and you need to track it, this is one way of doing it. So let's bring in a constant, and let's bring in that paint note. And I'm going to borrow this viewer. Okay. So when we look at the constant and we look at the paint node, and if we go to just paint on it for now, just a little scribble. You know, we paint on the RGB, but if you quickly go over to the Alpha channel, you're going to notice there isn't. So make sure that on your constant, you set it to RGBA, or better yet, Alpha. Now the reason why I would rather set it on Alpha is because if you set it on RGBA, you do get your Alpha, but you're also getting your RGB. So we're getting this white on top of, the, uh, you know, if you you're going to get this on top of your clip. So you just want to set it to alpha. All right, so let me delete that. Okay, so now we have the constant in the paint node. And I'm going to get rid of the viewer, put it back there where it belongs. And now we're going to apply the paint node. But we want to make sure that you apply it between the keyer and the premult node because you want this paint node to be part of your black and white image and if you apply it after the premult it just won't work so you need to apply it so that your black and white image is part of the keying black and white image if that makes any sense so keyer Paint node and merge. Let's go back to RGB. And now if we paint, we can now fill in our spots. Yeah, well, we knew that before we could have done all of that. But now we have the option to track this. So after your paint node, you can just add a translation now transform tool and now that will give us our translate X and Y to apply our tracking data and that's pretty much it so if you just add a uh, a tracker to it and let me just close these up okay Now we can apply some tracking data by tracking a portion of them. Okay, that's good enough. All right, so we have a little bit of tracking data here. Okay, and then you could just take your, uh, your transform and your tracking data, and just take your transform. We're going to control, 
click and drag into the translate and you're done. So now you're tracking data and you're the paint node move together. And that is one way of tracking your paint node.